This it clashes. What am I supposed to do? Somebody's complaining over there that my top, which my mum actually did buy me for Christmas, clashes with the colour of this car. Well, it's too bad. It's the only top I've got. And what is this car? It's the Citroen Zara Coupe. Now, you remember probably back in the summer, we took a close look and we liked the five die version of the Zara when it was launched, although we criticise its styling slightly. This is a little bit more adventurous. This is the, uh, the coupe version for the younger set, as it were. Perhaps people slightly younger than me. I'm too old for this car. This is for the 30-something male who uh, is looking for performance. And I've just come back in this VTS version here, the top of the range version, and performance it has, I can tell you. So Mark, tell us who this car is aimed at exactly. Well this car is aimed at young, high image people who oh. want uh, who want something which has got a bit of style and flair and character. So maybe maybe it's a car that's not aimed at you, Mike. Oh, thank you very much. Nothing to do with this, what I'm wearing of course. But I'm about the right age, aren't I? Just, just, no, just... Yeah, you're actually about the right age, yeah. Good, so, we won't go yeah. into too we much... We won't say how old that is. No, 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 not in too much detail anyway. Seriously though, it's... The VTS version is the top of the range version at 17,500, but for those on smaller budgets, uh, you've got two other interesting little models. That's right, we've also got the 1.8 and the 1.6, so basically uh, you can have the car uh, at 15,000 or 13,000 if you want to pay a little bit less. They're on the road prices. Yeah, they're on the road prices. Very well specced, uh, good list of standard equipment, something you don't always get on uh, on all those cars out there, particularly the German ones. How important is that to your customers, do you think? Well, it's very important because, I mean, people who want to buy cars with uh, style and image clearly want the, the kit to go with it. So they're looking for things like air conditioning and uh, Alcantara upholstery. They want the CD player and, the, uh, and all the gizmos and the gadgets that go with a high performance car like this. Alcantara, you just drop that into the conversation as if everyone know, will know what you're talking about and uh, very few of us will. Uh, that's a kind of, how can we describe it, a sort of suede-like material. You can pour coffee on it and just brush it off, can't you? That's right, it's like a leather finish. Mm. Um, people, people who are in the know, who mm. know about style and taste, will know exactly what Alcantara is. Absolutely. Now, the other thing that strikes me is that uh, you're coming in with this car at the very time when the Saxo is going through a great success story. I think a lot of people will be surprised to learn just how successful these days the Saxo is, particularly the high performance versions. That's right, I mean the Saxo Super Mini is probably the hot hatch success of uh, 1997. Uh, we sold 6,000 uh, high performance vehicles from that category, which is an unheard of volume, especially as we only introduced it in 97. Two liter engine, about 167 horsepower. Does twice the legal speed limit, not that we'd encourage that sort of thing for one minute, for a price of about 17 and a half thousand pounds. Very, very well equipped. Twin airbags plus side bags too, so you're talking about four onboard airbags. Think of the noise if that lot go off together. CD player, air conditioning, very well equipped inside, I think. I don't like the uh, positioning of the electric uh, windows, it took me five minutes to find out where the switches were for those, but in terms of driving performance, wow, 
great little car. Very, very talky engine, great handling as you'd expect on Citroens, great chassis, really is an awful lot of fun to drive. Your biggest problem in this car is keeping clear of the law.